So in that context, Neil deGrasse Tyson's role as a communicator isn't just helpful, it's essential. He's not just explaining science, he is defending its place in our civic life. So I sat down with Dr. Tyson to talk about the power of scientific literacy, the president's attack on scientific institutions, and the future of AI. Also, I may have briefly tried to convert him to Islam. I'm just saying, I'd love to have him. You're, you're probably one of the, the GOAT science communicators of our time, okay? Your IMDb is stacked. You have 232 IMDb credits, which- I, 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 I hardly ever look at IMDb. That's interesting, thank yes. you. Yes, now, now compare that to one of the great GOAT science communicators of my generation, Bill Nye the Science Guy, who only has a paltry 100 in 69 interviews. You have unironically played yourself in dozens of television programs. When did you realize you were famous? Great question. There are a couple of checkpoints here. Yes. So one of them was, I, when my email was still available okay. to people. Yeah. Okay. In fact, I published a book called Letters from an Astrophysicist which was my correspondence with the random general public Got asking me stuff. The way you said random.